The project we submitted to ITF is called GTFS to EMIS, uh, which is a computational model to estimate public transport emissions uh, from GTFS uh, data format. So GTFS is a standardized data format for public transport data. It has been widely adopted by transport agencies across the globe by thousands of cities uh, in different countries and continents. Because G GTFS has become a very simple and widely used uh, type of public transport data, uh, we are now developing this uh, emission model or a, a computational package to leverage on this widely used data format to generate public transport emissions at a very fine spatial and temporal resolution vehicle by, by vehicle. So the research is being uh, is making. We've been making a lot of progress over the past uh, couple of years. I believe we are uh, maybe two months close to uh, publish the computational package. So the GTFS to emiss uh, model will be available as an R package for transport uh, researchers, uh, transport agencies, and citizens in general. We will be probably be publishing this package over the over the next uh, two months. And once the package is uh, published, uh, that's when the, the, the real research project really starts to get going. So one of the main motivations that we had for this project is that uh, we, we see GTFS as a fundamental silent, silent revolution in public transport data management and transport planning. Uh, so using GTFS to develop methods for tr public transport emission modeling, we thought we, we saw this as a low hanging fruit that we could um, take this opportunity to improve and push further the boundaries and methods to do this kind of uh, emission modeling analysis and so on. Once we publish the computational model GTFS to emiss, the, that's when the research project really starts, because we will be using the GTFS to emiss model to create an environmental benchmark of the public transport systems of several cities across the globe. So right now we are envisioning at least something between 20 to 30 cities uh, across the globe. So right now we have cities from Africa, uh, South America, Europe. North America, but we unfortunately have no other cities in, 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 in Southeast Asia, for example. But we are very much looking forward to expanding the number of cities in our project so we can compare how much uh, emissions these public transport systems are putting up in the air compared to the number of passengers they transport on a day to day basis. Well, I mean, the, the reduction of transport emissions is a very important and, and pressing global challenge. And there are several different alternatives that transport agencies could adopt to tackle this kind of problem. The most obvious of them is trying to move towards electrification of public transport fleets. Um, it doesn't come as a simple challenge though, because there are so many different barriers in terms of technology, uh, charging stations and logistics that have to be accompanied with this kind of uh, electrification policy. But by far, electrification policies uh, are becoming more and more the most promising alternative or strategy that transport uh, agencies could use uh, to transition to a low carbon uh, public transport system. However, the most short term or immediate kind of solution that could be adopted is really just renewing public transport fleets with uh, buying new fleets with uh, more strict environmental regulations and with more efficient uh, fuels and, and combustion engines. Now, this by far would be probably the easiest and most uh, yeah, reachable short-term solution that could be adopted. Yes, absolutely. Uh, so the idea of the GTFS to emiss model is that it can be very easily applicable to pretty much any city with uh, standardized GTFS data and some minimum information about the characteristics of your public transport fleet. 
Once you have this information, you can very easily apply GTFS to estimate the CO2 emissions or, you know, uh, PM emissions of your transport system vehicle by, by vehicle at each road segment at each minute of the day. Uh, and the nice thing is that with this kind of method, you can very easily apply uh, this research tool to think about public, public policy scenarios. Let's say you want to electrify your public transport fleet. Uh, if you electrify, let's say, 20% of your fleet, how much environmental benefit you'd, you would get out of this policy? If you wanted to, let's say, renew some uh, vehicles in your public transport fleet, uh, which routes you should allocate them uh, to minimize the number of, of um, pollutants or the, the amount of emissions that the population is being exposed to. So in practical terms, the GTFS to in this uh, package could be very much, could be very easily used in policy simulation scenarios to analyze the potential environmental benefits of electrification policies, uh, uh, fleet renewal, or even just an analyzing issues of environmental justice and population exposure to pollution.